Welcome to News West 9's West Texas View with Johnny Lou Avery. Welcome to the West Texas View. I'm Johnny Lou Avery. And we have two guests back in our studio today. They were here last Sunday at the tail end of that program because we're doing a series of programs about the University of Texas Permian Basin. We are very fortunate to have in our midst a part of the University of Texas system campus here. It is one of their newest campuses, started in 1970 after legislature approved it, and now it is 40 years old. And 40 years is not very long for a college campus because not only do they have to hire faculty and get all of that stuff going, but they have to worry about housing and and uh, getting all of the things established for financial aids. And so one of the things that I wanted us to do this morning was to talk more with Teresa Sewell, who is the uh, Associate Vice President for Student Life at UTPB, and let her tell us about some of the things that we need to know, particularly if you've got a child or a grandchild, or if you yourself are interested in coming to back to school then this is a program that you really want to watch because you couldn't go any further away and get any better education than you can get right here at UTPB. So welcome back with us, Teresa Sewell, Associate Vice President of Student Life, and Oscar Vasquez, who is the Student Senate President. He came to us from Puerto Rico, and <coughs> we are very, very fortunate to have him here. So first of all, let's reiterate your background and how you got to be at UTPB, Teresa. I came to UTPB in 1984 to work in student activities. And because the, you had... Because I had done that in my undergraduate uh, work. Uh -huh. And um, then I moved from various offices within uh -huh. student services and just had a great experience on campus and um, have seen so many changes and so much growth. It's just really been exciting. And everything has just been a positive step upward. Oh, it has. It sure has. Uh -huh. and, and Oscar, uh, tell briefly about your background. Well, I came about three years ago from the University of Puerto Rico. I transferred after my second year. And I am a senior in marketing here, hopefully graduating in May. Uh-huh. Good. All right, let's go back now. We're going to come back to Oscar in a minute, but I want you to talk about student life in general. Okay. We have a, a, so many opportunities for our students to be involved in campus activities. Um, you know, student organizations, they come and go, but it, it, sometimes we have as many as 50 student organizations active. Some of our strongest organizations are actually faith-based groups, uh -huh. and they, they, uh, they feed the masses. Right. <laughs> a lot and of that doesn't that. surprise me in our part of the woods. Right, and then we have, um, you know, some, the Accounting Association, for instance, has uh -huh. been active since, uh -huh. ever since uh, I've been there, and very active, very, very uh -huh. strong, offering many scholarships, and so, you know, for, just a variety of groups for students to join and so if there's an interest if they have an interest there's somebody else that has that interest and they can get us or a they group can going. create a new club they can <laughs> they can you know they just come up with the most interesting group but you've also added greek life we have we have a fraternity <coughs> kappa delta rho and they are very involved with the campus very involved with the community doing a lot of community service out there and two sororities, Kappa Delta Rho is a national fraternity. The two sororities right now are not national. They are looking at getting picked up by uh -huh. national sororities, um, but two of them, and uh, they just are doing good things uh -huh. on campus and it off campus as well. It just adds another dimension. It has, it has. And it's not for everybody, but if, if it is, then that's available. Well, I, that's one of the things that when we very first started the campus, there was there was not a lot to do because we hadn't had all of those mixes developed yet. So now it's full blown. It is, it, it certainly is. Um, you know, and we just have so much, so many services for students, um, tutoring and mentoring and places for study groups. And we built the uh, student act, new student activity center. Oh, I know. And it's just beautiful, has a cafeteria now and, um, 
and all kinds of, of recreational things to do. Your yes, pool tables yes, and things yes, like that. coffee shop, and so it's a, a, a nice place for students to get together. And w with that, the Student Activity Center, then the addition of the Science and Technology Building, it creates a co what we call the quad area. It's a, uh -huh. a lawn area between the buildings, so it's just really become a beautiful campus. Uh -huh. And, and the Student Center is, is a, enables the students that live off campus to mingle with the students that live on campus. Yes, And indeed. there almost has to be a Student Center for a college to be complete. Yes, yes. And one of the things, <coughs> we, we've talked earlier about the athletic program, but that was another big dimension that was added when we began to really add all the different sports. And now we're very soon going to be up to 16 sports when they get the last two added and then <clears throat> we're going to be talking about nursing and engineering in a couple of weeks but <clears throat> talk about you mentioned tutoring and this is so important for students that that uh, particularly non-traditional students that come back to school after uh, being out for a while how do they get tutors assigned to them well, we have a Student Success Center that we opened, um, kind of reorganized all of our academic support services into one area, so math, science, um, writing skills, so they can, you go to one facility and there's tutors there, there's somebody to help you, they'll direct you. We also have so many um, online services that are available that students, you know, particularly with our non-traditional and our online students that they can access, and like the um, writing tutors, will respond to students online uh -huh. through, e through email so a student could actually send their paper in electronically Say, and get some comments yeah, about it. What that, did I do wrong? That, right, right. <laughs> Before I turn this in. Right, right. Yeah. So, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> one, of the, one of the things that we always look, about, look at in a college is the accreditation. And a lot of people outside the campus, they don't understand what a rigorous process this is. It is, it is. Oh. You have to have qualified faculty, you have to have the facilities, you have to have successful students. So it is, yes, it is quite an accomplishment. We are very proud of the accreditations that we have received. We have the College of Business is AACSB accredited, oh. which um, I'm understanding is, is a, a real feather in our hat. Yes, that's true. And, um, we have uh, ABET, the Mechanical Engineering Program, received its ABET accreditation just as soon as it could. You have to have graduates, students have graduated the program before you can get your accreditation. And as soon as we could after those, that first group graduated, uh -huh. then we, got, we received that accreditation. And we're working then on our Petroleum Engineering accreditation, and we just had our first graduates in December for Petroleum Engineering. And <coughs> one of the things that students look at when they come in is the rate of graduation and we've had a wonderful fr from the very beginning we've had a wonderful rate ratio of, 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 of graduating students that started so many of them drop out at freshmen and right. so a lot of colleges have a really low ratio you know and I think we, we can thank our faculty and our staff for that because the faculty are willing to spend so much time with students and the staff. You know, students can walk into uh, any virtually department. any department and ask We're going to have to take a break. We'll, we'll be back in just a minute and continue this conversation with Oscar and Teresa. Stay tuned. West Texas View will be right back. <laughs> 